spear so next Sunday morning again I'm gonna do some spear fishing out of the bus cobble area right close to the fishing sanctuary so this is the roadside I just left off of the road and I got you a nice little pass here I got chuck row off go down on the, the seaside it's not necessarily a beach or it's not a rock side but it's kind of boat it's a beach and a rock. When we reach on the one over there, see how it look. Mm -hmm. So we come here so um come dive one time already at this part here so but regular when we usually dive out close more to the bus cobel area a uh, sanctuary fishing san fish sanctuary out there so now so no more Fishing can go on this or so. But close, when I reach on the beach, from the, the, the seaside, I show you how the earth is set up. Mm, so, this is a little piece of grass field here, so I may go through. So, when I reach close on the beach side, I check in again. Okay, so see the sea they through the, the bush, them through the trees. Nice, look up cool spot here so to, you know enough people don't really know about them location and yeah, unless they have to come from the area come here so one time already if you can probably go back down for some of my video them I come here so come do fishing one time already mm. and the next thing again peeps me only recording system I have to capture me do today is just the GoPro alone. Me left everything. Me left the GoPro, the housing, the case, the shell where if you go in. So I can't go have it on my head. For my forehead or anything. So all I have to go try when I me have a spear of fish, I have to go try to hold in one hand and see if I can capture. But now watch no face if I can capture when I spear no fish. So as I say, so so go pro me having a me. I mean, I have nothing to strap it down for me. Nowhere at all. The man I know you can see it's kind of a rock side, beach side here. And um, I may not see no swimming spot. I'm go down a little further. Reach right down there. And no grass not here, so but you can actually walk go right out to the reef. As you can see. See a guy out there turn up me. I don't know if I line him or throw this away in there. Or a dopey me and see him. I don't see him look like he's spear fishing. I don't see him with no boat in there. Stand up out there. So it look like a line him or throw. But as I say, you can't walk out there still. Mm -hmm. See a person like a whole, all the most fame stuff these do. These look like a fame stuff. So some whole heap of soldier crab yeah. See some weed there and thing, in weed case and thing, and some whole up of soldier crabs. They look like a fiend bait, them, the crab them they use for bait. So, yeah, so it look like him just walk out because I close. You can't, you can't walk right out there. And the last time I come here, I saw a whole heap of activity in the water, a whole heap of boat, man. I only see two boats, one there and one around there through that. Part there and the man out there sitting there. Me not see nobody from this far. I do not spear fishing. Me only see some marker like a fish pot. Me not see no, nobody. I do not spear fishing so far. Yeah, man. And it's a jump off too, you know. So it's a good spear fishing spot as well. Okay, so me I get myself ready and um, go out there, but now. So that's around the Rockabessa side. So the fishing sanctuary start from right there, a buoy there right to my finger there, go back that way. And then it stop right round there and go back that way. So we have this little spot here to there to do um fishing. And in the reef are and the outside are in the inside here. So yeah man, that's how here is set up the closest two fishing sanctuary ever. They were me ever seen in Jamaica. Probably this, probably it 
this summer is what I never see it still. Yeah, man. So, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to check out this here now. I'm going to talk here. I'm going to get ready and just head for the water. Peeps, so. I walk out as far as we can now, and then we just dive off. Put on the diving, look up swimsuit already, and um, let me give you one. Oh, I'll be a soap magic, and I'll put that on. Let me start swimming up. Take my time, see me, and then we actually dive off. Run a rock best side, see them are built up a new hotel it look like. Yeah, lovely beach on that side too, you know. But nobody never really go. For private place them there. Mm -hmm. So I go dive off now, not checking out anything as me say. So as I enter the water, I saw this Ross. Take a shot and he ripped away. Never place a shot good. This is actually my first fish, this is a jack, a next bad shot again, as you can see. And I saw this lovely turtle. Just resting on the sea floor. Very large. This is another lovely jack again. A good place with the shot there. That's a small gripper. And this is early. This is when I just entered the water. The visibility was great until. Everything just get a little murky. That's my stringer there. You can see I got a few fish. This is the scorpion fish. I actually get him when I'm coming out of the water. Uh, so exit the water now. Come on, it's been about three hours in the water. And um, I find a couple of fish. Find a couple of fish and find um, two jacks, a goat fish and a um, scorpion fish. That's the one with the venomous um, egg spine and um, two quab. Oh man, and a small snapper. And I'm um, shoot um, a nice size snapper and him tear off. I shoot a nice kingfish and him tear off. Yeah, and I place the shot them properly out there. I feel like I'll come back here so probably a morning or Tuesday morning because I have to listen the water lovely here so a lot of snapper yeah man a lot of snapper and jack mm. a lot of snapper and jack so probably I'll come back here say about Tuesday morning come see what I'm going here so I get and come properly you know the gears them properly set the filming thing them set and the only the GoPro alone me have source so in my hands so I have to keep it in my diving suit all the time and take it out and get proper shot and so I come back and get them hopefully I can get two better fish but yeah I get um yeah, so I get so I find uh, them a lovely jack two lovely one um aqua nice goat mullet and this are the um the scorpion fish. We call them stinging gripper in a Jamaica. Some people call them stinging gripper. Them venomous in you know, them head. Here yeah. have some spine like yeah, I took my brother one time already and him have to take busy that thing where we grow. It's a, it's a plant where we grow a fruit like hockey. That him have to, him have to drink. Serious fish this up. This one but them nice though. Yeah man, I nice to go catch me Sunday dinner so I go clean them up here now. Not even knife me no care, but I have a scissors that I have for my stringer. But I always have for my stringer, so I go use a scissors there and clean them up and then I do them. Mm. And now uh, the water, the water get a little murky. 
you know the last half yeah. get murky bad because you know you're reaching at the midday you know um, at 12 after 2 and now so the wind kind of come up on things so you get a little murky but otherwise you can go on still so I'm going to scale off these now and then me head home so and do a, a Sunday cook up some rice and peas for the Sunday in a same way as usual Maybe one next Sunday I change it to something else But you know a Jamaican tradition that rice and peas and anything Rice and peas and chicken, rice and peas and fish, rice and peas and any other meat kind of way you eat Jamaican tradition, rice and peas always on Sunday so They are like soup and them things So catch me in the, in the kitchen because probably me just um, probably fry the fish them and cook some gravy on the side with them see me with maybe some carrot and um, soups of Irish with some Irish see me and um, onion and them things the see me so catch me in the kitchen then see before we reach back in the kitchen we just feel like we share the fish that I want to we clean up this regular with me though I'm going to use the scissors and clip off the fin them like here so Then I can probably see if you eat them But I'm going to clip off them here I'm going to take off them here Let you feel see And then I'm back fin here so And then I'm going to cut off the head from in here so and The last fish this still I'm going to finish with them there With the goat mullet Nice and long, nice chop Lovely snapper there and two quab, you know. Mm -hmm. So, now nah, I'll jump back now into the kitchen now. Alright, peeps, so I'm here in the kitchen now. As you can see, I have the two drops. And um, the snapper, and that's the squad bear, one of them, and the goldfish, and the scorpion fish. And remember, this one we in Jamaica, in Jamaica, we call it singing gripper. So the correct name is scorpion fish, the venomous fish. So in all, we have um, six fish. And some pepper on them and some black pepper and salt and some of my original jerk seasoning. So the dishes I mean it said before we are just going to fry and cook down. Not fry it like make it them fry right to like when a escovitchen but like start it fry and cook down. So like quarter fry and cook down. So let's start now. Them finish up here now, so you can uh, the only thing you guys can make them out again. So, this is jack, snapper, scorpion fish, the goat fish, next jack, and the, the quabba under the bottom there. Yeah, man, looking very nice. So, I'm gonna get the gravy ready now, and you're gonna like cook them down back. Yeah? Fry and cook down, right? Yes, man. This is the rice and peas right here. Season up and everything already. That yellow looking thing, that's the butter on the top. Green things are scallion and thyme, and that's the pepper. There for the flavor. So, okay guys, so this is what I'm going to use to make the sauce. So, a carrot, pepper, onion. 
um, sweet um, Irish potato, scallion and thyme. So get them cut up now and then you will see the finishing. Okay, so this is everything now. Well dice up and um, some different style of dice in the carrots. Everything is going to be lovely. And here goes the rice and peas. Looking very lovely. So this is everything now. So I add in a little salt. Add a little water in it now and let it go and cook up or cook down. So okay, so everything in this now. So I'm gonna leave them, let them get a little tender, and then we add the fish. Most people will add the fish at the same time, but the fish will mash out. So I just let them kind of half cook first and then we just put in the fish and let it cook down. So this is the look now. Looking very nice. So I'm going to add the fish them now. That's a scorpion fish in the corner here. Get some of the thing on top of it. That's the Irish and um, carrot and stuff. Looking real good. This, this one can just catch anywhere. Just make some of the steam pass through I have a box fish in the fridge. I'm planning to do a roast and now I go put that one in the kitchen. I'm gonna roast that one probably on some coal. A friend of mine um, gave me a recipe how to deal with it. His recipe how he used to cook it or roast it when he was living in Jamaica. It's a box fish. Yeah, so you can subscribe and wait for that video. So this now, I'm gonna leave this for a few minutes and then we we'll look at the end result. Okay. There goes the rice and peas now. So I'll finish. Very lovely. So, waiting on the fish now to finish, and then we can dish out a lovely dish, and you guys see the end result. Okay, so this is the end result now. Yeah, this is actually my dish here with uh, the jack and the goat fish. And this is for Shakira, that's a snapper and a quab. Yeah. Looking very lovely in the Sunday evening. Yes man. So once more again peeps, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember to hit the bell for our new uploads. 
So until next time, Russell links. Rasta Resistance's goal is to reach the community in every part of the globe with our unique quality of style as a message of righteousness. Right, trust, nest. To do what's right, trust in yourself. To protect your nest, your family. Rasta Resistance was birthed from an observational breakdown of society on a planetary outlook that cries injustice, inhumane, destruction of itself and its surroundings and the discrimination against one's heritage, lock here, with Jamaica and parts of the Western world. Rasta Resistance will continue to bring awareness to the world through its products and guidance to the community and its culture, spreading knowledge to stand up against injustice and for humanity. This will be found throughout our entire line of products. For more information, visit our website at www.rastaresistance.com.